As death toll is rising among Russian soldiers fighting in Ukraine, Putin's regime is receiving increased backlash for its war of invasion in Ukraine. A resident of Russia's St. Petersburg city has shared video footage of a large cemetery in the city that is known to be the cultural capital of the Russian Federation. In a video posted in Telegram messaging app, the social media user has condemned Putin's war of invasion in Ukraine and decried the killing of Russian soldier in Ukrainian soil. Dark side of the culture capital of Russian Federation. How many guys have died? For what? What the hell were you looking for in Ukraine? You cannot return the guys. The graveyard is getting larger and larger, the man said as he was filming the video. Russia has been expanding its cemeteries since full-fledged invasion of Ukraine in more than two years ago. According to some media reports, as of June, the government has spent $1.5 million on cemetery expansion. Так, темная сторона культурной столицы России. Вот оно, блядь. Нахуй никому не впавшее СВО, блядь. Нахуй оно нужно, блядь. Сколько пацанчиков лежат? За ради чего, блядь? Чё там ту ёбаная Украине нахуй забыли, блядь? Ёб твою мать, блядь. А пацанов не вернуть нахуй. Блядь, сука, кладбище растет и растет. Сука. The Russian army found itself in a stalemate after the armed forces of Ukraine began conducting a defensive operation in the border area of the aggressor country. It is impossible to make up for the large losses of the Russian occupation forces, and the Kremlin is afraid of a large mobilization. Therefore, in the Kursk region, they decided to plug the holes with conscripts, and now they are throwing wounded occupiers into the meat storms, essentially to slaughter. Oboz Revitel media outlet says this. According to Russian analyst Anatoly Nesmian, Russia no longer has the resources to solve two problems simultaneously, advancing in Donbass and defending the Kursk region and other border regions. There are two possible options to stop the offensive and transfer forces to the Kursk region or to carry out a large-scale mobilization of everything that is left. In fact, it will most likely not be possible to carry out a mobilization of civilians, this will cause very serious social unrest, and it is not clear how the control system is capable of coping with this task, he wrote on his Telegram channel. He emphasized that there are a large number of security forces in the Russian Federation, but the Kremlin will not use them in Kursk region or in other border regions. They are needed precisely inside Russia, since the main enemy of the regime, the people, is not going anywhere. And if necessary, they will need to be brought into submission by someone, Therefore, the maneuver of the force resource is extremely limited. Putin's foot soldiers from one North Caucasian Republic cannot be used either. They have their own task. They are the personal reserve of the commander-in-chief in case of a repeat of Prigozhin's mutiny. Suddenly, one of his comrades goes crazy. True, Prigozhin's mutiny made it clear that there is no special hope for the foot soldiers. In such a case, they can get stuck in a traffic jam and not arrive on time. But there are no others anyway, the analyst explained. In his opinion, therefore, everything will remain as it is and the Kursk region will no longer be returned by force. The regime will only try to prevent even more from being seized. Oboz Revitel says that thus the Russian army found itself in a vicious circle. Large losses in the combat zone in Ukraine and now also in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation led to a severe shortage of personnel and there is practically no one to replenish it. According to a Ukrainian armed forces officer who is taking part in the Kursk operation, this is why the Kremlin gave the go-ahead to plug the holes with conscripts. However, they will not change the situation. Conscripts cannot and do not want to fight. They were not prepared for this. Moreover, they were promised not to send them to war. Some obey orders and try something, but it is useless. The others surrender, and this is their only chance to save their lives, the Ukrainian defender told. Meanwhile, the command of the Russian occupiers began to throw the wounded and even the disabled into the meat assaults in the combat zone in Ukraine and in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation. Information about this began to gradually leak out onto the internet. Despite the claims of Russian propaganda that everything is under control, the residents of the aggressor country no longer believe in this.